Would you look at this? Got the yard completely finished and washed right here. Look how good this thing looks. I mean, white, the color white on these Mustang Shelbys, all you need to do is do a minor cleaning on it and the whole car just becomes spotless. It looks so good in white. Anyway, so how are you guys doing? Welcome back to the channel. Have a great day. Today we have some very interesting things to talk about. Now, as many of you know, I have a 350R that you can see right now. <laughs> it's got carbon fiber wheels on it, just like my Trackpack GT500. And we've been hearing so much talk lately about, well, the new C8, Z06, whatever it's gonna be, is gonna have carbon fiber wheels. And the interesting part is this. We saw these photos online that people claim were leaked. Now they could be, or they could be not. We really don't know yet. However, some attributes, some aspects of those photos really caught my eye. Now, having a car that has carbon revolution wheels, they do have special indicators on them that make it clear that, hey, these are official carbon wheels. The supposed C8 leaked carbon wheels also have the exact same style badges inside the wheel well. And if you compare the badges side by side, they look super similar. I mean, you have the Carbon Revolution official logo on it with the serial number. The style itself completely matches my track pack and R. It looks pretty legit everywhere on it. Even the sequences for the codes, they look so similar. I mean, we could be seeing carbon fiber wheels on the new C8 Z06 or whatever the next model is going to be if in fact these were real photos of the actual wheels. However, I'm making this video in response to that. Having cars that have carbon fiber wheels for the past few years now, I have to say they are fantastic. You really do notice it on the racetrack, the lower rotating mass. In summary, this really helps the car feel a lot lighter than it is. Imagine you're spinning an object, right? Now, once the object is in motion, try changing the direction of the object. It's kind of like those uh, fidget spinners that you saw all over the place a few years back, right? You start spinning them and then moving the direction they're facing, you can feel that inertia. It translates to overall better performance. Even on the Trackpack GT500, I was super shocked because it does feel a lot lighter than the normal handling pack or just standard model. It's a really cool piece of technology. It honestly is. And I'm really excited to see them on production vehicles because for so long, we've been seeing carbon fiber all over the place, right? Carbon hoods, carbon fiber monocoque chassis, everything, right? And then now having them on wheels is pretty cool. I just want to, to let those of you know, if you do daily drive, if something did happen to those carbon fiber wheels, it is going to be pretty expensive. So if you do want to run forged wheels or aluminum wheels, I do understand that for the racetrack. In my opinion though, I prefer to leave them on and I would highly recommend they do so as well. Because this, what happened here, is probably a very slim, slim possibility. So just keep in mind of that. If something does happen though, I just want to show you what the aftermath could be like. Now I'm not a wheel expert by any means. So if you have seen damage done to similar kinds of wheels, please let me know what you think about this video right here. Your pieces of the carbon fiber wheels completely shattered all over the place. Chunk of the carbon fiber wheel and it keeps going, going, and going. Even bigger chunk of it right here. If I can pick this, it's kind of sharp, it's like fiberglass and then some pieces of the white that goes into the front wheels to protect it from the heat. seen wheels do this before. If you do make an impact of some sort, this is what could happen based on what I experienced. So I just want to make it clear to try to be 
extra careful to some degree with this kind of a wheel. What happened was that I think there's an impact point right around here towards the inner part of the wheel, like the center of it, and it just was, was such a stress point that it just fractured the entire wheel. Because the interesting part was that the outer spokes of the wheel were completely fine, but on the inside, it completely busted through it. So it was a very, very strange aftermath for the wheels. I wasn't sure what I was looking at. It was very shocking because all over the place, there are fragments and shards of carbon fiber wheels. And those things, they aren't cheap. So again, it was a complete accident what happened. And I'm not gonna go into whose car it was, anything like that. I just wanna show you though, what could happen if you do get into a problem driving these, driving with these carbon fiber wheels. Can you believe that happened? I'm in shock about it. I've really never seen anything like that happen before. I really do wanna get what all of you have to say about it. What are your opinions of what happened to those carbon fiber wheels? Because that was crazy. I mean, I couldn't imagine having my own set of carbon wheels doing that, especially on a Trackpack GT500, right? fully exposed. I, th I think the price of those wheels are well over 10 grand for a set, right? It's something like that. So what I'm trying to say is that I just, I'm really shocked about it. I'm sharing with all of you because I know so many of you follow the channel, actually do own cars with carbon fiber wheels. So I want to ask if any of you have experienced something like that before. Plus, what do you think actually caused that deep down? It seems kind of strange how a simple impact on the road could end up doing that, at least that's what I'm told. So it's very, very different because I've had this car for so long now, no issues. These wheels have been amazing. I, I love them. I would highly recommend them for any production car, honestly. Same goes with the new C8 Z06, right? That would be such an awesome enhancement to put on the car. It would make the car look super cool as well if they were exposed. Not just that though, from driving every day, they really do change the handling of a car. It's a lot less unsprung weight, which means a lot more than normal weight. It makes the car feel lighter than it is. That's why you find them on the track pack GT500. And driving both cars back to back, the handling pack and the track pack, they feel so different because again those lighter carbon fiber wheels do a lot so i would recommend them they've been perfectly fine for me but i'm just i, I saw that event and i've just been really uh, on the table ever since so please let me know again if you think that was just a fluke or is that just the inherent structure of carbon fiber wheels if you hit a certain impact point Will it do something like that? Now, let's say you were tracking a uh, Trackpack GT500 and you went off and your car is fine, but your wheel made an impact with like a rock or something off the track. Would you see something similar? And it seems like when the wheels do disintegrate, it's like fiberglass to just crackling up on the ground. It's all, it was all over the place. A very strange sight, it seemed like. I haven't seen forged wheels do that actually. It was pretty interesting at the same time because I got to see the carbon weave and also just fragments all over the place of how thin the carbon wheels were and just how light they were. Honestly, seeing those weaves all over the place on the ground showed me how technologically advanced these wheels are. At the same time though, it may not be the best for when it comes to the way it disintegrates. I'm honestly kind of thinking it was just a fluke, but I do want to get all of your opinions down below because I know from my first-hand experience, the maker of these wheels, they do everything they possibly can to thoroughly engineer and develop these wheels. That's why you see them on Ferraris. They're fantastic. They, they wouldn't be making them for major companies like Ford, for example, if they weren't so well built. But at the same time, seeing something like that is very interesting. And since so many of you do own cars with carbon fiber wheels, I wonder if this is something to worry about or not. I don't know. All I can say for myself is that from my experience owning a car like this with carbon wheels, it's been flawless so far. And I would love to see them on the new C8 Z06 or something like that. It would be so cool. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe for much more great videos coming your way. I'll see all of you in the next episode.